out of this hole again. That Diablo, that boy D, gonna break it down to you. Now, if they say I'm an internet hooligan and a fool again, and I'm a fake hooligan and a plastic hooligan, that's fine. But so far as I know, nobody's ever come with no serious series. Only that fella named John Kerry had to be a hooligan, and that's a joke, brother. And that man's skinny, I like to break him over my knee and use him as my folding chair or my umbrella or my footstool because all the stuff he talking about is a bunch of malarkey, you understand? It's funny, John Kerry, I like you, you're a good comedian, but you know nothing about hooliganism and you said as much. So now, in this episode three, like, subscribe, do what you're supposed to do. Now, I'll go into picking your firm or your supporters group because you got supporters groups that behave as a hooligan group, but that's a little bit different than an actual football firm. So to me, the greatest football firm, which is a collection of firms, is Manchester United Red Army, biggest, baddest, and the best. Everybody knows it, now representing that here in the United States. Now, I don't really know those dudes, but Miami Casuals were founded off of their kinfolk, you understand? So as far as I'm concerned, I'm Red Army. Now, when I get to England, we'll see if them dudes accept me. But apart from them, I have my Plymouth Argyle Central Element brethren. And them dudes have for sure accepted me. So, besides my, my into Miami here, I got some other affiliations. I'm with the ILF guys. I like them. Although, let's see there's confusion because of the Vice documentary. But, the next thing it goes into firm affiliation, supporters group affiliation. Who you with? Now, you already had to pick your club in episode one. Then, you had to pick what type of hooligan you're going to be in episode two. And now in this episode of Lesson 3, you need to actually join your firm, get with your local firm, and be ready to bust a grape, be ready to do some dirt, be ready to stick something or lay somebody out on account of your firm. And then we're going to see who's the hardest.